The Awaken Wealth work, it's, it, it's got a lot of strategies and tactics, but it's not just about that. It's about knowing how to turn on that inner wealth machine so that you can generate everything you need regardless of circumstances. Now, to understand this, we're gonna dive in now to some of the, the meat. The first thing you gotta understand is that wealth, the real nature of wealth, wealth is not dollars or clients or cabbages or kings. Those are symbols of wealth. Those are the outer evidence of wealth. It's the same way that the fruit on a tree is not the wealth of the tree. That's why when the, the fruit is all gone, the farmer doesn't look at the tree and go, well, that tree is broke and cut it down. The farmer knows it's just as wealthy and abundant and in due season, it'll produce another harvest and another and another and another. How often do you look at your bank account or your job and think that's the source of your abundance and if you've only got that many dollars or that much hours, you, that's it. And if you don't have any dollars in your bank, you go, I'm broke. But that's false, that's a lie. Because those dollars, those hours, those jobs, that's not your wealth. You know, the, the goose and the golden eggs. The eggs aren't the wealth of the goose. That's why when they cut the goose open, there's no gold in there. It's the invisible process, the goose itself. It's the tree itself. It's this invisible process that turns and transmutes the raw soil into the sap and the flower and the blossom and the marble and the fruit. This invisible process. And the other thing is, you know, they did a study. They put a tree in a tub. They measured the volume of the dirt. They fed it, they did all that, it grew you know, doubled in size or whatever. They measured the volume of the dirt, same volume. The tree didn't use up the dirt in order for it to grow. So where did all that abundance in fruit come from? It came from this invisible something, which you're gonna learn about, which is the real wealth. It's invisible, it's intangible, it's spiritual, it's energetic, it's consciousness. And when you take care of the roots, you have rich fruits, harvest after harvest. And it doesn't take it from the world so that you could be dropped down on a desert island and if you know how to tap into this principle and work this practice of awakened wealth, the birds will bring you food, the fish will jump out of the water into your, onto your land. And I know that sounds silly, but this has actually been demonstrated. And if it doesn't have to happen that incredulously, it still will show up. It'll still bear rich fruit when you know how to practice this. Now, why is this important? You know, you've probably heard the saying, money is the root of all evil. And then first of all, that's not the whole saying. The saying is the love of money is the root of all evil. But you know, money's one symbol of wealth. It used to be chicken. So would you say the love of chickens is the root of all evil? You know, maybe there's certain kind of chicken love that's not too cool, but it's chickens, it's furs, it's dollars, it's whatever. These are symbols of exchange. Salt used to be how they exchanged wealth. The Roman soldiers were paid in salt. That's where the word salary comes from. So wealth is not all these symbols. It's constantly changing. These are symbols. The wealth is that invisible process. It's the goose, it's the tree, it's you. When you know how to turn on the wealth machine within you. But, so what that saying is saying, the love of the symbols of wealth is the root of all evil. When you believe the dollars are your source, when you believe the client is your source, when you believe the chickens are your source, you know, you start, the cattle are your source. You know, you steal the cattle, you steal the dollars, you lie, you cheat, you manipulate. We do all kinds of crazy things to get what we think we don't have, what someone else has got, or to hold on to what we've got, or we won't try to get what we want because we're afraid we're taking something from someone. Like if you take a piece of fruit off a tree, suddenly that fruit tree has less fruit. It has less in that particular cycle, but it's got infinite fruit because you haven't touched the wealth of the tree. So when you think the wealth is those dollars, those symbols, you're stuck, you're profoundly limited to whatever you can see and touch, and you start to wrap yourself in a pretzel to try to manage and manipulate this world of symbols, and you'll never create real wealth and real abundance. Now, once you understand the nature of wealth, you want to understand where's the real source. And we've already touched upon this. The real source of wealth, to understand this, I want to talk about a principle I call the Great Reversal, which is taught deeply in the emergence work. And it's basically the truth that everything is within you and that life doesn't happen to you, it happens through you and as you. So whatever is missing is what you're not giving, what you're not generating, okay? That whatever you're waiting for, you're actually waiting with and weighing it down. And so this work is the ultimate weight loss program because you no longer have to wait for people, places, and conditions to change when you realize it's in you. 
that all the wealth is in you, that you're a divine power plant. And a power plant doesn't just receive energy. It doesn't receive energy at all. It doesn't even just have energy. It generates it. So as a divine power plant, as an, the inner wealth machine gets kicking and gets going, you can generate everything from within you. And then it manifests in the world as the fruit, as the, the symbols. And we're gonna talk a lot more about that. So wealth is spiritual, it's energetic, it's within you. Everything is within you. And as we make this flip, we no longer look to the world and wait for the world to give us something. We become the answer we're looking for. As Gandhi said, we become the change we want to see in the world. And then we are able to generate abundance and be a beneficiary presence in any situation, regardless of economies, regardless of jobs, you can start generating abundantly. And, and really, you know, the sky's the limit once you understand this principle. Now that you know that wealth is spiritual or invisible or energetic, that it's all within you, that the world can't give you anything or take anything away because it's not your source. It can give you great feedback and a beautiful stage to put on your divine drama, to project your movie on the screen of experience. It's a great place, but it's not your source. Once you understand all of that, now you, you gotta understand this principle called the big betrayal. And this basically says that whenever you make something or someone outside of you your source, the universe is set up to fail you. Why? Because as long as you do that, you have to give your power away. And when you give your power away, you don't have the power and the capacity to begin to generate what you need and to be who you are and to give the gifts you're here to give. And if you're not bearing the fruit you're meant to, like a, like a gardener, a branch that's not bearing fruit gets pruned. You know, like Jesus cursing the fig tree because it didn't have any figs and it died. That's a principle. If you're not showing up and giving of the gifts you have to offer, you know, you don't have a place here. It's like the old saying, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. And when you believe other people are your source, you start to shrink that capacity until pretty soon you're just, everything is about survival and you're not living your dreams and giving your gifts. And now real challenges and crises and problems start showing up in your life to try to crack you open and bring you back home again. We don't want you to have to go that route. Maybe you've already experienced it. But when you understand this and you start to really live from this place, the universe becomes your silent partner.